你又喺度錄我音，<笑>你話俾我聽先啦、啊。你又錄我音。Hey guys, it's Jay Lu. So today, I just want to have a chat with you guys. Everyone online at the moment and on the newspapers in Hong Kong are panicking about this super typhoon that's coming in one day. Today, one day.、Um, it's called the super typhoon because apparently it's going to be the strongest, craziest typhoon that's ever hit Hong Kong. Um, so what that means for me is that I'm gonna have to stay home all day, like I do every day. <laughs> for those of you guys who are not familiar with typhoons, they are not as crazy as hurricanes. They do happen usually around July and August, but you know, with the whole global warming situation, weather's have been very adverse for everybody. So I guess we're having a super typhoon in September. <laughs> and I don't know what that means. I mean. I hope not too many people get affected by it. You know, stray animals in the street. So this is the first time that I'm gonna experience a typhoon in my apartment. We have two balconies, so I better clear up some of that. Okay, well that's just too far. Dan's just gonna have to get it. Got lots to do. Got lots to do. My lighting keeps making this weird ticking noise. Can it shut up? So let's go through a checklist because I have to make sure I've got everything I need in order to get through this typhoon. Fortnite, check. Fortnite duo, check. A sofa to waste my day on, check. Rice cooker, check. Rice that will get us through the weekend, check. Rick and Morty Monopoly that's never been opened because I have no friends, check. And if we really run out of food, a gingerbread house from last Christmas that's never been assembled and is now covered in dust. <coughs> It's actually not expired. I don't know if it means the candy or the gingerbread. Either way, we're cheap. So, see you this Christmas. Anyway, if you're watching this during the typhoon, why not go waste more of your time by watching more of my videos on my channel? I hope my channel blows you away. <laughs> I heard you're easily swayed, so why not subscribe and turn on and turn on post notifications while you're at it? Are you making typhoon puns? You know people have died from typhoons, right? It is not a joke. You're right. I'm sorry. Can you go now? I have to FaceTime my mom in a bit so people would watch this video. Okay. Okay. So to the main point of this video, and I guess I like finally, what is she doing? My mom reacting to my new tattoo. So a couple days ago, I got semi permanent tattoo makeup. I don't know if you guys are familiar, but、um, it's very popular with eyebrow blading, eyebrow microblading,、um, eyeliner. Excuse me. And have you noticed celebrities always have perfect hairlines? Like they would tie their hair up into a bun, and it's just like a perfect line, both corners here. And also, like my sides, when I tie my hair up, I do have little gaps, and it does go recede quite far back here. I guess I used to tie my hair up quite a lot, especially going to local school. You have to tie your hair up into a ponytail. So I know you guys really liked my last video where my parents reacted to my blonde hair. It was a wig, but it was very believable. Apparently, they believed it.、Uh, my mom started crying. Very dramatic. I'll put the link down below if you haven't seen it. You guys actually loved my dad.、Um, you guys loved how chill he was. Also, a lot of comments. About his English accent, French people speak French. You know, English is not their priority. Especially 30 years ago, my dad came to Hong Kong when he was 19. He didn't speak a word of English, so of course he's gonna pick up a bit of Chinese accent. English is not his first language, and I, I, I've always thought it sounded quite French to be honest. Like he'd say "hoven" and he wouldn't pronounce "h's" and stuff. So one thing about my mom, she hates tattoos. She hates them, and she will not bear the idea of me getting a tattoo. I mean, me getting cartilage piercing. I mean, I was 15, but you know, she wasn't happy about that. But she knew it's not permanent. Nose piercing, not permanent. But a tattoo to her, it's like permanent. I will never get a job. She just sees it as like a villain. Someone who has a tattoo 
is a villain, you know, like Hak Se Wu. It's a very backwards thinking, I'd say, like, um, but that's how she is. She's very reserved. So I don't know what she thinks about my Instagram. Back to my hairline. I basically got my hairline restored. It's called Hairline Restoration. I got it done and I'm really happy. It's still kind of healing, I guess, but it did not hurt. As you can see, my hairline is now perfect. I'll show you before and after, but I'm really happy with it. It is technically tattoo, although it doesn't last forever. The only thing that was uncomfortable was hearing it, because then you'd start to imagine what she's doing. But I asked to play music and she was like, yeah, sure. So I just put like Spotify next to my ear and I was all good. I think first I will call her and just like be more chill about it and ask her what she thinks about tattoos. And then I can tell her and then she doesn't believe me. I'll be like, that's FaceTime. Why? 你的塔图了,你为什么要塔图在外面? 我心脱小了以前是入到很远<笑> Well, that's how it went with my mom. It's definitely not as crazy as the blonde hair to her. As long as there's nothing permanent, she's all due with that. I kind of wish I had a bigger reaction out of her when I said, like, what if I got a tattoo? But I feel like she knows since the last time she was pranked. Maybe someone told her. Um... I'm kind of hoping that she has no idea that my channel exists. People with tattoos are usually associated with um, gangsters, you know, even depicted in movies and shows. And I really hope like one day it's not, you know, a thing anymore. You can just have a tattoo and not be labeled as bad or naughty. But with my mom, it might be just like a protecting her child kind of instinct. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Give this video a big thumbs up or thumbs down if you're not a real homie. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you want to see from me next. Or you can tell me um, what I should do during the typhoon day. Probably gonna be quite bored. Actually, no. I want to film for you guys during that day because Dan's gonna be home and I know you guys love seeing Dan in my videos sometimes probably more than me. So let me know what me and him should film and I shall deliver. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on post notifications. I post every week. You can stalk me on my other social medias, Facebook, Instagram. I'll see you there. Stay safe during the typhoon. I hope you have a wonderful weekend and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.